Hi children, just look around the place you sit, your classroom, look at your bag. Anything in the class, just run your eyes and see. Lots of things that in the classroom that you see, they are made up of lines. Just look at your table. Look at the chair you sit down. Look at the board you have. Anything in the class. We are going to look at very carefully. Today, you are going to look at lines and curves. Where do you find lines? Look at your book. You have straight line. We keep then you look at your water bottle, you have curves. Look at the bangles, curves. Look at the glasses, curves. So today we are going to look carefully at the things that we have, we use. And then we are going to learn curves and lines. And we need curves and lines for many things, for drawing, shapes, drawing pictures, for everything we need, curves. So we will look at very carefully curves and lines. We are talking about curves when we are, want to draw something. You need curved line. We want letters to write. You need curved line. You need to draw flowers. You need curved line. So we have curves, different curves. This way you draw. Then you have curves this way up. Then you have side. You have side. All these you call curves. Curves, any curved line. You can say curves that look up, down, side, left, right. Now, other than this, we need lines. We have a lot of things. Now, look at your gate. There are straight lines, slanting lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines, gates. Or look at your table. You have vertical line, horizontal line, slanting line. Look at the chair you sit on. So lines. So you have curves. Now what are the different kinds of lines? There are kinds of lines we need to look at. Kinds of lines. What are the kinds of lines? you need to know. Now, we have horizontal line. One, horizontal line. Okay. Now, the horizontal line you need for drawing. It goes from your left to right, horizontal line, like this, it goes on and on. And then we have, and we use this horizontal line, look at your board, your charts, you need line. Look at the book, straight line, okay. Now next we have is vertical line, next we have is Vertical line. When you say vertical line, you have line from top to bottom or bottom to top, whatever way. 
Now, when you look at gates, look at the gates. You want to draw a gate or you want to paint a gate. You need your horizontal lines. Alright? Now, that's your gate. And you need to draw lines like that. Okay? Then you have the slanting line. Next, what we need is slanting. Slanting line. When I say slanting line, we talk about ladders. Now, when we have ladders, we have lines this way and then we have lines this way. Okay, ladder. Think of your ladder you have at home. Okay. Ladders. Okay. Now, in the ladder, you will find you have lines going like this. You have lines coming down, going up like this. Now, this is what I call coming down and going up. Alright? Ladders. Then we have here... So we have ladders going up, lines going up, lines coming down. So we have three kinds of line. Horizontal line, vertical line, slanting line. You can also say sleeping line. That's it. This is the horizontal line. Sleeping line. We have curved line. Now all these patterns we use for what? In making pictures, in drawing, we use these lines. To draw shapes, also we need this line. So, all these lines are very important for us. You want to draw a lovely little circle, then you need all the four curves. Okay? You have one curve here, another curve here. You have another curve here, another curve here. All curves are used. So, you have horizontal line when we talk about your boat or your chart. You use horizontal line, then you use vertical line for your, if you have a nice little fence. Slanting line is used mainly for make the ladders look at your ladders look at the shape of your chair it's like now so we are we are talking about curves and lines wherever we go now look at the pencil if you look at it's a horizontal line we can also call it a vertical line we can also call it a slanting line so we wherever we are we are just seated here just look at what kinds of lines you see Lines are used in drawing shapes. So now next what we are going to do is how to use the horizontal line, vertical line, slanting line and the curves in making shapes.